Oh yeah, the Shield Hero has gone full Demon Fox Rage Mode again. Time to get toasty. So what's up guys, Foxen here. Shield Hero Episode 11, Practically the Midpoint. Forget about your shield, now for me has gone full Iron Shield Man this episode. By the way, do be sure to like and subscribe so you don't miss out on my juicy anime videos weekly. It also make Ralph Talia very happy. So, let's get started. So, time for the second wave, for now for me anyway. The countdown already started the previous episode. The only question now this episode was, would the raid boss appear? And also, would any of his party be wiped out? Interestingly, near the beginning, you have Agiro's brother helping out with various crappy looking weapons. There was also a good chunk of medicine. But come on, how much would this really come into play? Is this stuff really better than the Shield Hero's Jesus healing power? As for Romtalia's mana upgrade, no doubt at all that she will love the little bracelet. No matter the stat boost, it could have given nothing. Also, unsurprisingly, to see the little KFC get jelly. Hey, Chicken Loli, you get this hairpin instead. It's shiny, look at this. Keep getting distracted. And really, this is just going to keep on getting more expensive and or time consuming. Which is really just getting these similar items for your so-called daughters. But, did you get something for Melty too? Oh, oh, alright, right. As for their power levels, still no one over 9,000. You still have the Shield Hero trios in their 40s, while 20s for the guard guys. I don't know, but so far it seems like a huge level difference doesn't play too much of an important factor. Except perhaps for restricting higher tier skills that you could unlock, or even use in Naofumi's case. But anyway, something else worth noting about these waves. It seems like these wave battles give the heroes and their party this walking experience bags. You know, from all the orcs, lizards, and whatever else pops up. Doesn't this mean that the waves are a perfect area to level up? Which would actually mean that it sucks for the shield hero's party, since aren't they level capped? Hmm. Once again, the shield hero getting screwed. Next up, that super powered granny. Really putting the shield hero's guards to shame. She was really just giving me this Master Roshi vibe. And to be honest, I was wondering whether she was that grandma that Naofumi helped out a few episodes ago. And bingo. But what the hell? Is the shield hero not only magically healing others, but also giving them this power boost? She's got from dying grandma to Captain America like superhuman. Come on Naofumi, give yourself some of that. Next up, that demon pirate ship. Who knows, maybe that pirate ship has a space pirate angel, or only a zombie Jack Sparrow. Also, by the way, did Fila just do a Mario jump or actually fly? Anyway, right here, did you notice another level check? First off, the ripoff Kirito, only level 65. Honestly, I was really expecting these other hero guys to be like 80 plus, maybe 100. And really, what was that? Having problems with this weak ass undead pirate. Shame. Either way, my god, are these heroes really that useless? I almost want to say even more useless than freaking Aqua. Cause really, after Nalfami told them off, no luck. They were all still being dumbasses. It really seems like the lesser Kirito and the boneless spear hero have been brute forcing their way through everything without ever doing some real strategy. And oh yeah, leave it to Raftalia to draw out the real raid boss. You got that very ugly demon dragon spirit monster. To be honest, I really wasn't sure why everyone looked so shocked. At this point, that dragon zombie looked far worse in comparison. As for all the heroes working together, it really does suck, but this is how it should have been from the very beginning. To be fair, Naofumi at this point can repair his relationship with the Sword Kirito and Mr. Arrow, but unfortunately not with that other trash over there. By the way, something else, all these heroes using thunder type moves? Are those all just high level unlockables? Where is Nalfami's thunder shield? Or I guess in his case it would be a lightning rod type of shield weapon. Either way, no, no, you gotta use dark type moves on that ghost monster. I thought you guys played the game, come on. As for the raid ghost using explosion, ha. I actually really enjoy seeing the useless heroes getting wiped out, including the red bitch. Too bad for the other party members. Although you guys did ditch Nalfami too, so whatever. You just had Naofumi using protection on Raftalia and his chicken. It was super effective. But holy crap, Ultra Chicken can freaking quick step? Come on, Fila's really looking more and more powerful. Maybe stronger than even the heroes at the same level. If you really think about it, Fila could have slowly hammered that raid boss down to 0 HP. Unfortunately, Naofumi really had all these other people getting in the way. Next up, time to bust out the curse to raid shield. But not before Raftalia got a chance to set up some death flags. Good thing your best cat girl. On the other hand, that bucket of chicken, I'm not too sure about that. Anyway, for Naofumi's raid shoot, part of me thought either it wouldn't work, something like overusing the fox or Ichigo's hollow mask, or it'd be weaker since Naofumi wasn't exactly raging right now. But holy crap, was I wrong. 
Surprisingly, that dragon zombie made a cameo. Why use your hatred when you could borrow a cup from Mr. Bones over here? I was really just wondering whether Naofumi got a temporary boost from that. There also was that zombie dragon shield he got from the previous episode. Oh, so previously too low level to access. So yeah, burn baby burn. Also, did the KFC get roasted too? Or maybe my question should have been, how did Raftalia avoid the party buff? As for the red bitch's commentary, really, girl, shut the hell up. Otherwise, you may accidentally get caught in a crossfire, if you know what I mean. Then, you had Raftalia pretty much calling herself and the other heroes useless. I'm really hoping that this is setting up some light foreshadowing for an upgrade for her. Cause come on, Fila is really on steroids compared to poor raccoon girl over here. At the very least, Raftalia was able to pressure the other heroes into actually doing something instead of fracking only watching. All of these hero guys really need a leader figure. Hey Naofumi, you gotta be their Captain America. Heroes assemble. Now getting into Naofumi's big, badass moment. Oh yes, it's time to fracking combo chain skills. Forget about that zombie dragon battle, this moment easily tops that. By the way, I really don't remember, was that Iron Maiden skill a new skill? Or was it just part of the cursed combo? Either way, hopefully Naofumi and his party got the last kill bonus. And you better suck up that raid boss. Cause next time you could really just borrow that thing's rage for your party. And really, funny how you got the useless heroes calling the shield hero a cheat. Haha, <laughs> really? You guys are a freaking joke. Next up, a new challenger appears. You got this demon girl glass? Hopefully not a glass cannon. <laughs> but holy crap, I was wondering whether she would appear or not. So she was teased in the last episode. Turns out she's a true raid boss for this wave. You guys are all screwed now. At the very least, you got the shield hero going down being acknowledged. Hopefully you could get your hard boy up again. So overall, this episode, definitely a more interesting wave battle. In comparison for Naofumi, the first wave now feels like a joke. So far, Naofumi seems to have gotten more control of that curse shield. Not to mention that full-on Iron Man shield suit. This does feel like the very first cliffhanger for the shield hero too. But anyway, more important, let me hear from you. Question of the day. Did you love the shared hero's badass moment? Was I the only one enjoying the hero's team up temporarily? And the most important thing, do you think Naofumi and the useless heroes have any chance against Glass when they had so much trouble already? Anyway, be sure to smash that thumbs up and subscribe. Don't forget to check out my weekly Shield Hero and SAO Elicization videos on the weekend. Will SAO Season 3 win back the hardcore SAO haters? Find out now. Don't miss my other anime and Attack on Titan videos, hit bell notifications, and I'll see you guys later.